the, the mystery of dead bodies and we begin with Ode Francis who is at the city mortuary. It is a story that has been covered extensively this morning in various publications. Let's head there to over to you Ode Francis. Six bodies found wrapped in sacks and polythene bags. What are you hearing from those at the city mortuary? Olive, indeed, we are at uh, the city mortuary where the bodies, the six bodies that uh, were recorded yesterday uh, evening are lying as we speak right now. Uh, we are here, but again, we have been able to try and see and uh, just uh, find if there are body or families of uh, the loved ones uh, here. But uh, again, we haven't uh, seen any family here. But uh, with me, I have... Uh, 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 different organizations, uh, that is the uh, organizations of human rights and uh, others, that is the Red Cross uh, here uh, to try and find out uh, if there is a family to support and uh, try and see what exactly uh, uh, should be done in uh, during this uh, grieving time. Uh, with me, I have uh, the Red Cross uh, members. Uh, maybe we talk to them and find out what exactly, why are they here and uh, what exactly should we expect. Okay. Take it here. Okay. Uh, I'm Deborah. I'm representing Kenya Red Cross PSS team. We are here to offer psychosocial support to the families of the uh, our dear loved ones who are laying here, and so far we are still waiting for them. Mm. Yes. So far, how many bodies have you recorded? How have you uh, have you brought? Uh, were you in the? in the last night's operation so far. How, how many bodies are we talking of? Uh, talking of? Uh, so far, we have another team on the Mukuru waiting for the... We are, we're still waiting for figures on our side. So, so far, we have not recorded the number of bodies as Kenya Red Cross. Yes. Uh, we, we, with, the, with the Red Cross on the other side, have they given any number uh, apart from yesterday's numbers that were recorded? Uh, so now we've not gotten any new new figures. We've not gotten new numbers as of today. So, how many are we so far, the six that we've been told are lying here already. Uh, Olive, with me, I have uh, organizations or that uh, deal with uh, human rights and activists, and uh, we, uh, we 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 were here just trying to find out why are they here and uh, why now. Tanza uh, tukomaji na love tell us why are you here. Uh, my name is uh, Yasa Kimei. Uh, the reason as to why we are here it's because of the incident that uh, took place yesterday. Uh, we were there, um, we spoke to the community and the public. Uh, most of them were saying it was allegedly they uh, collected, they retrieved around seven to eight bodies. But uh, what we're being told here is around six bodies. And um, the um, homicide uh, department, they've instructed the city mortuary to not to tamper with the bodies until on Monday. So we were here to just uh, monitor what is happening and also to uh, be with the families so that at least we can show them solidarity and find out what else they need so that at least when we are giving reports we're able to know who is here and uh, what the next steps are. So according to you, uh, what is the number of those bodies uh, that are here or that, that are recorded now that you're saying there are eight and six, what are the exact numbers that have been recorded? Um, when you look at City Mortuary, they're saying six bodies. Uh, yesterday when we left uh, the scene, they said uh, uh, six bodies were retrieved in the morning. And then as uh, the human rights organization, we were there, we saw two bodies which were retrieved. So uh, according to, uh, let me not be quoted, but I think eight bodies are the ones which are, have been found by now. Yeah. Olive, we are uh, still at... Uh the difference of between six and eight bodies. But according to the main reports here uh, from the Red Cross is that uh, eight bodies were recorded at City Mochari and still uh, the bodies have been preserved for homicide and the operatives, that is the DCI, to come and start the investigations on what really transpired and how did these bodies found themselves at, uh, at the quarry, that is in Mukuru uh, area. Back to you, Olive. Uh, 